the plan was to do another Global Storm Outlook, but I think something has come up on Twitter shared by my friend Shintaro and the Canadian Ice Service. They're saying that the, there has been a collapse of the Milne Ice Shelf on Elsmere Island, so let's see if we can find some images of this. I'm going to check your browser. I'm going to jump over to Elsmere Island. I actually do not know where this ice shelf is. Wikipedia is ahead of this game. They've got 40% of the ice sheet collapse within two days at the end of July 2020. And where is the... What's it? It is in here, so I think it's time to bring up Google Earth. Oh, I think it is this one in here. An ice shelf tucked in a couple of fjords. Let's tilt it down and get a look. Wow. I think I've got the location and it's in here. If I get rid of the, the view, you can see the coastline matches up pretty nicely. You've got this little nook here. This comes down here, so it's actually in here. I have a script that can sort this out a little bit. Just paste this in, and if you go to the Discord, actually, you'll find this script on our Discord. And that will help to view things a bit better, as you can see a lot better now. You can see the details. This is cloud and here is the ice shelf. And so we've got to basically to see the ice shelf actually evolve. You can go to the time lapse function on your browser and check to see if there are any actual cloud free images that can show this kind of movement. I think the one that's been posted on Twitter is a radar image. Anyway, let's see. Yeah. Actually, you can see it. There it is. Wow. So between the 29th of July and the 31st of July, you can see the ice shelf breaking open. And is there any... Oh, wow. Okay. And then it's gone by the 8th. So we have a few images here. So what I'm going to do is quickly select out the decent images so we can create a proper time lapse. And the way you do that in your browser is you just deselect all the ones that have bits missing and all the ones that are cloudy. If you have, if you're registered on your browser, you can do this. And once you do that, this is what you end up with. And what you can see is as you go through July of this year, there are all of these blue areas, these blue lines, and those are lakes on top of the ice shelf. And those tend to destabilize the ice shelf. It actually looks like it already had all these cracks in it. Um, and then it breaks up at the end of July. So if we focus at the time of the breakup, it's 29th of July, and then the next decent image is 31st of July. And by that point, the breakup is in full force, as you can see. So I'm going to grab both of these images. To do that, I brought up the dates and I'm going to July, and what was it? 29th? I think it was 29th. 29th for the first one, and then, yeah, there we go. So that gives the view, and I think that the breakup occurred through these lakes here. Anyway, uh, the first thing is, I'm actually just going to print screen this. And then the next one was the 31st. So I'm going to jump forward and do that. Let's see. Wow. Yeah. So when you do these sort of things, you want to be careful not to move the screen. I'm going to shift print screen. I've got light shot which allows you to print screen. You can just use print screen or whatever print thingy you've got. Now we can see really the location of the break. And go back to 29th. And then we'll see the ice shelf with its lake. So definitely, it was definitely this lake, wasn't it? This deep, was it a super glacial lake? 
and maybe it lined up with these cracks. It looks like there were these cracks, big cracks. Wow, look at this. This is a big crack, so future losses there. The other thing we can do is we can estimate the amount of the ice shelf that has actually broken off the area. But you can see the bit that got sectioned off. So if we go back to the previous one, which had better coverage, then we can actually see the area that was chunked off. And I think it cut off around here. You know what? I don't know for sure. But, okay. It actually digs right down in here. Okay, yeah. So here is the area tool. All I have to do is plot a rough line in the region. I guess it goes out to about there. Let's just do it roughly. So we get an idea of the area that has collapsed, which is about 75 kilometers squared. We can use Google Earth to see what that is in Manhattan scale. It's like that, and like that, like that, like that. That is, so Manhattan plus the Bronx, maybe? A bit of the Bronx. Manhattan plus a bit of the Bronx. That is my scientific assessment of the size of this collapse. So there you have it, a pretty significant ice shelf collapse on Elsmere Island at the end of July 2020. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, then you may find other videos on this channel of interest. Hitting the like button and subscribing really helps to support this channel. To get the latest videos, don't forget to enable all notifications. 